Hi, I'm Tim from thefreecollege.org and I'm giving a presentation on how to make a tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is give our tutorial a name. In this example, I'm going to be adding a feature to a new program. So I named mine uh, t tutorial how to add a feature to a new program. Assuming there would be a specific name for the feature and the program I'm adding it to, they would obviously be replaced. So the next thing I will do is create a section called purpose and underline it. And this is the area where I kind of give an overview as to what I'm trying to do. I, I'm doing this in order to prevent it from leaking into my detailed explanation on how to uh, add this feature to a new program. So I wrote a tutorial to help users add new feature to, to this program designed to assist users that are using the Windows Vista 7 operating systems. Please feel free to pass this guide on to anyone that might need it. So the next section is going to be required files. Often uh, people try to integrate um, links to files into tutorials and it actually makes it quite confusing for the audience. So what I like to do is find the name of the program, the version, and put them right here in caps this way, put a colon, and then put the URL, which is the link to the actual file. And of course, if you have additional files you'd like to do this with, you will add them here, as shown. So moving forward, there are also files that are uh, able to help, um, well, basically the issue is uh, compression. Sometimes a person will download a file and it'll be .zip or .rar. So what I recommend is to create this next category, optional files, so that the, uh, you can put a, a program here that is used to extract those types of files. So keeping these actual files apart from the explanation, we're now going to put the first, uh, the first piece of the explanation together by putting the, the name of the program here. If I need to, I'll put, if, if the link to the file is .rar or .zip, I'll add a, a mini WinRAR tutorial here. At the bottom of this template, I've placed that here, that you would install WinRAR, double click the RAR file, uh, you would uh, click the file, select all, extract to, and so on. Now once that file is able to be used and is no longer compressed, you'll basically put together a basic guide that will start with a capital install, the program name, and you'll double click by double clicking and you'll put in the name of the program. You'll, you can use words like next in caps and finish in caps and this arrow symbol to guide them through the installation process. Now, the installation section is, is obviously going to show the user how to install it, but now we're going to underline and put usage, because this is what you're actually going to do with the file. These are unique uh, commands, things that the user is going to do within the actual program itself. So I made a pretend program, and I'm telling the person that once they have it installed, what they're going to do to use it is open file name, click file, arrow new, arrow document, next, arrow click file, and so on. And then you'll do the same for any additional programs. Again, adding another usage area. Now, at this point of the tutorial, we're going to look at this feature title area if applicable. Now, I, I, I started this tutorial saying that I was going to add a feature to a program. So assuming I've already dealt with the program, let's say there's a separate file that I now have to put in the same folder as the program in order to make it work. So I'll put the name of the feature here. I will then, if, if it's needed, put another min WinRAR tutorial in to help them with file names. I will then explain that I'll open the feature name by double clicking 
and I will put I will use the the name of the feature features file in in this and what will end up happening is that I will now have established that the person has the, knows roughly what they're doing is able to access the files as needed able to install the programs make any changes in within the programs and play with any additional files so at the end of this area I will then put another category usage of complete program now this is for any uh, information that deals with the functioning of the entire program now that that new feature has been added so let's say I put a file into that into uh, next to that program and it does something new differently and now I want the user to do something I'll use commands such as right click click next arrow sign right corner left corner file open and and all different um, areas uh, different commands uh, in order to make it simple um, and in the final section what's important is to leave some space for notes sometimes there are additional things that um, you want to put into the tutorial like yeah and, and if you wanted to use this program to do something outrageous um, like this then you know you would want to buy this or do that and um, that would go in the notes section so this concludes my tutorial I will uh, post this template up so it's uh, freely available and I hope it was helpful thank you